Hello, my name is Andrew Rose and I'm the Chief Security Officer at SoSafe. So, an announcement by the UK government recently caught my attention. The Minister for AI and Cybersecurity, Viscount Camrose, revealed that three quarters of medium and large sized businesses in the UK were hit by a cyber incident in the past year. Now, these numbers highlight a really key point, and that's that cyber breaches are commonplace and they can happen to anyone. While the first reaction is often to invest in new technology for protection, it's really important to remember that many breaches are caused by human error, not just technology issues. And that's why many of us think it's important to talk more about the concept of human risk management. With cyber attacks becoming more sophisticated, it's clear that technological defenses alone aren't enough. So understanding human risk has never been more crucial. But what is human risk management? Well, essentially, we're talking about an evidence-based method for training people and supporting and intervening based on their risk profile. It's a method that relies on data and research to truly understand where people-related vulnerabilities may exist. And it goes beyond simple knowledge transfer and focuses instead on fostering a culture where security becomes second nature. Now, human risk involves strategies such as using data from past security incidents, monitoring user activity on the network and identifying recurring behaviors that may promote and escalate risk. And while in the past we were focusing on improving security awareness, in today's dynamic environment, that's no longer sufficient. If you really want to change the risks that your organizations face, you need a new path. And that's why this shift to a broader concept of human risk management, enabling us to prioritize the outcomes and the drivers of behavior is absolutely essential. So please stay tuned as we'll explore this topic in some more detail over some upcoming videos.